Come over here, go. Yeah. Hi, we're Two Fun Guys. I'm Josh. And I'm Kevin. We're coming to you from the Secret Bug Out Bunker here in the wild and wonderful state of West Virginia. Today, what I want to talk to you about is a Swiss Army knife in a bottle. Mm -hmm. Anytime you go out in the woods, you should always have a bottle of tea tree oil in your bag. That's right. Um, this right here will cover probably 60% of the uses that you would need from common cleaners, uh, any type of mouthwash, toothpaste, deodorant, anything like that. It yeah. doesn't have fluoride in it, but it covers a lot of uses, and that's what we're going to go over today with you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kick it over to Josh, and he can start off on it. So, all right. So, first on our list, it can be used as a mouthwash, like Kevin said. Um, one drop per cup. Um, will do the trick. Um, so you can use a regular eight ounce, uh, you know, measuring cup, or if you got a little mug that you carry with you. So one drop per mug. It doesn't have to be an exact measurement, but so one drop per mug per cup will do the trick. Um, yeah, if you're out in the bush and you got the funky mouth, yeah, mix you up some mouthwash. That's right. Um, next up, we have body wash. So um, not only can it clean your mouth, but it can clean your skin too. Um, so this is a little more powerful mixture than what it is for the uh, mouthwash. So you want to do five drops per cup, and then go ahead and lather it up in that. And uh, yeah, what I do is I use <clears throat> I just use a regular drinking mug. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm out camping, I've got like a 24 ounce mug. Put me about five drops in it. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't have a shower when you're out in the woods. So fill about 20, 24 ounces of water. Put you about five drops in it. Mm -hmm. Take your bandana, stuff it in, in there, there, wring it out. Scrub with it. Yeah, it takes the funk off. It's an it's an awesome defunkifier out in the woods. So not only is that good for the body wash, but after you know you lather up in that you know for the body wash, that'll also work as a bug repellent too. And if you don't get to this before the bugs get to you, um, you can apply it after the bug bites, and it'll help soothe the itching. Uh, really, really help ease the the itching of those bug bites as well. What do we have next on the list, Kevin? Uh, <clears throat> we've also got just it's an astringent. Mm -hmm. um, makes the same as the body wash. Basically, when you use this as a body wash out in the woods, it's an astringent. Helps fight any type of uh, acne, blemishes, yeah. things like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you bathe with it, it's automatically a bug deterrent. Not not just mosquitoes, but also ticks, fleas, yeah. things like that. Mosquitoes. Uh, uh, yep, mosquitoes. Uh, it's also good for psoriasis, mm -hmm. um, yes. any type of itching, irritation, uh, fungus. Um, if you got athlete's foot yeah. or toe fungus, bathing with this stuff is awesome. You just got to make sure that you cut it. You know, never apply tea tree oil directly to the skin. No. You know, not not full strength. You'll probably do more damage than good. Yeah. Um, next up, uh, it can be used as an all-purpose cleaner as well. So uh, two teaspoons of this per regular spray bottle. And really, uh, great all-purpose cleaner. You know, you can clean all those surfaces up. Um, it's also antiseptic. Um, so say Kevin and I were out doing something. Uh, or, yeah, yeah, long ways away from home. Uh, say we're on a five-day trip or something like that. I get a nasty, nasty cut, and I'm afraid that might get infected. So I can take this, mix it up. What is it? The uh, about the same as the uh, body wash, isn't it? Yeah, well, no, if you figure a 28, 32-ounce spray bottle and then you got two teaspoons, that's uh, 10 mils. So that's maybe about the same, maybe yeah. slightly stronger. Yeah, but go ahead and apply that to that cut, and then uh, it'll really help keep you know the bacteria from growing or spreading uh, until you can get to a facility to treat that wound. Um, also, while, it's, while you've got it in the spray bottle at that concentration, it works well if you spray it on carpets around doorways. It helps. It helps keep the fleas out. Uh huh. You can actually spray it on your dog. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't spray it in the face, eyes, or mouth area. Yeah. But you can spray it on your dog. It will help keep the uh, fleas, fleas and ticks and stuff away. off of him. Keep the little flies and gnats from you know flying around him and biting things like that. Mm -hmm. um, it can also be used as an accelerant. If you're trying to start a fire in the woods and you're having trouble, maybe you've got some wet tinder, you can't can't quite get it to take a spark. Mm -hmm. If you'll just pour a cap full of tea tree oil on there, yeah, 
one cap full will burn we measured it we put it in in a, a small dish put one cap full in it it burned for at least a minute if mm -hmm. not longer yeah and there was no other fuel in that it, it was just tea tree oil alone um just in a in an aluminum aluminum container lit yeah, on we, fire yeah we were curious if it was flammable or mm -hmm. not we were trying yes. to find out all the outdoor uses you could get out of this bottle um <clears throat> What else? Um, one thing that I do need to say is when you get a bottle of tea tree oil, make sure it's 100% pure tea tree oil. Yes. Leave it sealed. Mm -hmm. Do not crack the seal on it. Put it in your bag. Once you crack the seal, this is good for six months. Yes. Before you crack the seal, it's good for several years. Yeah. So, so don't, don't open it until you need to. Yeah. There's no point in trying to pour this off into a smaller container anything like that because after six months no good no so buy in a smaller container if you don't want to carry something this big but this is what I keep not only in my bag but it stays in my uh, first aid kit mm -hmm. I, I mainly use it for the medicinal uses of yes. um, it's rid of fleas I would think it would get rid of the crotch crickets you know <laughs> don't <laughs> Gotta keep know. them away never had them never tried it is an antifungal but it will not get rid of two fun guys. No, nope, two fun guys are here to stay. So. All right, guys. So if you have any comments or questions, post them below. If you um, know any other uses for this stuff, put it in the comments yep, below. Yep, let us know. Um, so I'm sure there's a few we missed, if not quite a few we missed. Um, you know them, post them below. So be sure to subscribe. And as always, thank you to the men and women in uniform.